Okay, battery time. We are going to test this beast of a battery right here. So uh, these are essentially two of this guys right here, right? And we tested those already. We know these can do 600 amps uh, up to like 20 seconds or something like that, right? So this, we know it should be able to do about 1200 amps. Now I don't have 1200 amps to load it, but I'm gonna load it up because what we're testing here today is to see if these bus bars are up to the task. Uh, 1200 amps or anything above 800 amps that's serious serious stuff right and so I've been I think these are 10 layers of one ounce copper right uh, 10 PCB layers so that means uh, 20 layers of copper in here so uh, but the space is really small and really narrow so I expect to to see the heat here here uh underneath this one here and that one over there so we'll see we're gonna load it up with i think somewhere around 700 800 amps and then we'll see how those behave if they remain somewhat cool or below you know 160 degrees fahrenheit or something then we'll we'll find more loads and then we'll push it harder but for right now we're just gonna see how it does on 800 amps let's start this test Hundred amps. Let's look at the bus bars. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, you see the hot spots right there is gonna be uh, right there. 114 F is not that bad, even though we're at almost 800 amps right here. Um, 116 over there, 115. This one I suspect is not gonna have as bad uh, of a time because there's two pathways. So the same amount of copper, but it's got two pathways to get to. So really the, the toughest one is gonna be this one right here, and then those right there. There's things we can do there without adding more copper, like moving that closer to between them. So now it has two equal pathways to those. I might do that in the future, but this ones right here are the ones that are gonna concern me. 121 F right now, uh, and we're around uh, still 800 amps. So. It looks like this will be able to do uh, consistent. Okay, let's give it all she's got. Right? Okay, 853 amps. Let's see how those start heating up now. Is it climbing? 123, 124. Yeah, it's climbing. It's climbing. 131 with 831 amps 129 over here oh okay so these ones are getting hotter right there uh the load is climbing down a little bit 800 about 800 now 
134. And yeah, it's stabilizing around 800 amps. One thirty-seven degrees. That's not that bad. It's a bit on the high, on the, on the, uh, you know. It's a bit on the hot side, but nothing really to worry about. Let's see. Let's look at it from the top there. One forty-nine. Is that what we're seeing here? One forty-two on the one over there. One fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah at 800. All right, so there you go. Not as good as I was hoping, but not really that bad, right? So 500 amps continuous is no joke. That's a lot of power. These batteries are primarily targeted for audio applications. You guys are the only crazy people on the planet that are trying to get those power levels at 12 volts. You know, if the audio world ever wanted to really like break past the, you know, 10,000 watt, uh, mark then you know all you just have to do is just build amplifiers that will work at 24 volts or 36 or 48 volts you need 50 000 watt systems although who needs that i know but uh definitely in an audio application those are dynamic loads they're not continuous like this right so you'll be able to get the 1200 watts the 1200 amps right which that equals what like oh 14 what 14 000 watts right 14 kilowatt so uh definitely you could do that because you know it the bars won't get so hot because they're not continuous not continuous load continuous load is much 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 harder on everything on the cells on the bus bars on your cables on everything right so dynamic loads music that uh, they can handle that so think about this like the most energy hungry power hungry uh, sounds that come out of your system is the bass, right? And the bass is anywhere between 200 or 30 to 200 uh, hertz, right? So that means every second you split it up into uh, whatever, 30 times or 100 times. And that's when it's actually the little motor, the speakers are just regular motors, they're pulling power. But in between those peaks and stuff, there's no power being pulled. So it's like 50% duty cycle, right? So. So that's why you can go really, really high compared to the continuous load. So dynamic loads are way less, less heat, less stress on the cells and everything. So that's why even though this could only do about 500 amps uh, continuous, 
uh, it'll it'll do the thousand amp, the twelve hundred amp uh, uh, dynamic loads on on music, right? So this is version one. We only made a small batch of these. Uh, we're gonna be, make them available, but I will keep working on these bus bars, and I do want to make them so that they can pull, you know, eight hundred amps. I have a couple of them, so the next thing to try is gonna be the solid aluminum and then solid copper at the end, right? So. And by the way, this is gonna, this is the one version of this battery pack, and then there's gonna be a long one. Because I know a lot of you guys are saying that you guys need to put it like behind a seat or something, so you guys are looking for like a long pack, and this definitely is easy to, uh, you know, just put the cells in, in a different configuration so it's longer like that. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. These, uh, if you're interested in this, just go to jack35.com. It's gonna be available there. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.